Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a controversial topic. Why Microsoft seems to have a grudge against desktop Linux. Now, we all know Microsoft, they make Windows. It's what's on most of our computers. But there's this other operating system out there. It's called Linux, and it's been quietly gaining popularity. Some people even say it's better than Windows. That's got to ruffle some feathers over at Microsoft. So, today, we're going to look at why Microsoft might just have a little bit of a grudge against desktop Linux. Let's get started. OK, first up, let's talk market share. Imagine you're Microsoft, sitting on top of the operating system world with Windows. You're selling millions of copies, raking in the cash. Then along comes this thing called Linux. It's free, it's open source, and people are starting to use it now. You might think, hey, a free operating system, that's great for people who can't afford Windows. And yeah, it is. But here's the thing, businesses love free stuff too. And when businesses start choosing Linux over Windows to save money, well, that's when Microsoft starts to sweat a little bit. Next up, we've got to talk about the whole open source thing. See, Linux is all about sharing. The code is out there for anyone to see, modify, and distribute. It's like a giant tech potluck where everyone brings their best dish. Microsoft, on the other hand, likes to keep their recipes secret. Windows is proprietary software, meaning they control everything about it. This difference in philosophy is like oil and water. They just don't mix. And let's be real. When one of those philosophies is all about giving away something for free that the other charges for, well, you can see why Microsoft might be a little bit miffed. All right, let's talk security. Now, both Windows and Linux have had their fair share of vulnerabilities, but there's this perception, especially among the techie crowd, that Linux is just more secure. And you know what? They might have a point. Linux's open source nature means that more eyes are looking at the code, potentially catching vulnerabilities faster. Plus, Linux's architecture is just inherently more secure in some ways. Now, Microsoft has been stepping up their security game, but this perception of Linux being more secure, yeah, that's got to sting a little bit. Moving on to something near and dear to my heart, customization. See, Linux is like the ultimate Lego set for techies. You can customize it to your heart's content. Want to change the entire look and feel of your desktop? Go for it. Want to tweak system settings that Windows would never let you touch? Be my guest. This level of customization is a huge draw for power users and developers, and it's something that Windows just can't match. And you know what? That drives some Windows users crazy. They see all the cool stuff Linux users are doing, and they're stuck with the same old boring Windows desktop. OK, let's talk about the elephant in the room money, or rather the lack thereof. Linux is free, like actually free. You can download most distributions right now and install them on your computer without paying a dime. Now, there are some paid versions of Linux with support and extra features, but for the most part, it's free. Windows, on the other hand, not so much. And we're not just talking about a few bucks here. A Windows license can set you back a hundred bucks or more. That's a big deal for a lot of people, especially in developing countries. So, yeah, Microsoft might not love the fact that Linux is out there offering a free alternative to their cash cow. Let's talk about community support. Linux has one of the most passionate and helpful online communities I've ever seen. You run into a problem, you hop online, and chances are someone's already solved it and posted the solution. It's like having a million tech support agents on call 24-7. Windows? Not so much. Their official support can be, let's just say, hit or miss. And while there are definitely helpful Windows users online, the community just isn't the same. This difference in community support is a big deal for a lot of people, and it's something that Microsoft just can't replicate. Now, let's talk about innovation. Linux is known for pushing the boundaries of what an operating system can do. A lot of the technologies we take for granted today, like containerization with Docker and Kubernetes, were pioneered on Linux. Uh, this constant innovation keeps Microsoft on their toes. They know that if they don't keep up, Linux will leave them in the dust. And let's be real, nobody likes playing catch-up, especially when it comes to technology. OK, this next one is a biggie enterprise adoption. Now, for the longest time, Microsoft had a stranglehold on the server market with Windows Server. But guess what? Linux came knocking, and they came knocking hard. Today, Linux runs a huge chunk of the world's servers. Why? Because it's reliable, it's secure, and it's often more cost-effective than Windows Server. 
This shift towards Linux in the enterprise world is a big deal for Microsoft, and it's not something they're taking lying down. All right, let's talk about developers. These are the people who build the software we use every day. And guess what? A lot of them love Linux, like really love it. They love the flexibility, the power, and the tools that Linux provides. And when developers love an operating system, they build software for it. This creates a virtuous cycle where more software leads to more users, which leads to more developers and so on. This developer love for Linux is something that Microsoft is well aware of and it's something they've been trying to address with things like the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL. But let's be real, it's an uphill battle. Finally, let's talk about legacy systems. You know, those old computers that businesses are still clinging to for dear life. Well, Linux can often breathe new life into these dinosaurs. Because it's less resource intensive than Windows, Linux can run surprisingly well on older hardware. This means businesses can put off upgrading their systems, saving them a ton of money. And guess what? That's money that Microsoft isn't making. So, yeah, Linux's ability to keep old computers running smoothly might not be Microsoft's favorite thing in the world. And there you have it, folks. The top 10 reasons why Microsoft might not be the biggest fan of desktop Linux. Now, I'm not saying that Microsoft sits around in a dark room plotting the downfall of Linux, but I am saying that Linux represents a very real challenge to Microsoft's dominance in the operating system world, a challenge that Microsoft can't afford to ignore. So what do you think? Is Microsoft right to be worried about Linux?